What's up guys and welcome back to Software Nodal Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty in general. Yes ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about Warzone and Call of Duty multiplayer. The best settings that you could use right now for Season 5 with its latest update. It did this morning, it did a small update this morning, but it was a very important update for Call of Duty in general. Modern Warfare, Warzone, every single Call of Duty that's out there right now a small little update that I brought out is very important to change the settings inside the game to what I'm about to show you. All right, all you need to do is follow my guidelines and you should be good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here. And ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the settings and I'm not going to make this video too long. Let me show you what you need to change to make your game not just have good frames, but have good frames and look good so it's not pixelated it looks fantastic while playing and have really good fps all right ladies and gentlemen as you can see i'm in call of duty right now in its select screen for what game mode i want to play so obviously if i want to play warzone or if i want to play multiplayer call of duty as you can see i'm doing about 200 fps inside the selection of what game i'm going to be playing now i do a little bit more fps i do about 230 fps without obs running in the background because it obviously uses resources like ram cpu and gpu right so ladies and gentlemen today i want to talk about the little update that came out today this morning which is about two to three hundred megabytes and today i want to talk about this for a reason now there's a few things i want you guys to go ahead and change for season five so you guys don't just have really good fps but also make your game look really good so you don't just have really huge fps like 200 260 270 and your game looks really i don't know dull or pixelated or whatever the case might be we're going to put it at a certain way so that your game is basically balanced so that your game looks good and you do good fps and all you need to do is follow these settings that i'm going to show you right now now i will do really good fps if i just go to option right here like this and start going to options but i'm not going to do that i'm going to show you the fps what happens in the lobby what happens when i play the game as well all right so i'm just going to go to multiplayer like this and i'm just going to close this continue over here and as you can see it, it dropped all the way down to 70 fps in the lobby now obviously it is rendering in things in the background and rendering in my character so the highest will go over here is about 130 to 140 till 145 without obs being open all right in the lobby okay so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to options over here and then go to graphics and go to display i highly recommend keep this at full screen do not change it if you want to change it and you get more fps in your game by putting it, I don't know, in borderless mode or full screen borderless mode, go ahead and do that at your own personal preference. But I highly recommend putting it at full screen because you get less input latency in the game when it's on full screen. Put this as your native monitor that you're currently running. So your display or your monitor that you're currently running. Put this on your graphics card, your dedicated graphics card that you're currently running or your graphics card that you're running on your laptop. This is the refresh rate of your monitor or your display. So if you are doing 60 hertz, 120 hertz, 240 hertz, go ahead and put it on what your monitor can do. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about this. If you put this at 120, okay or you put it 240 and you put this at 1440p you are going to do less fps in your game now i know a lot of people want to play this game at 1440p or higher unfortunately you're going to lose frames that's just it it's call of duty the game's fucking broken the game's like not properly optimized so you have to jump through hoops you have to do certain things to make the game run well you have to do certain things to make the game um, get the FPS that you want with your machine. I mean, you have a monster machine, but you're doing 100 FPS or 200 FPS. Or there's people out there that's talking about doing like 80 FPS with 3080s. You know, it's 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 like I don't know how to explain it, but Call of Duty is fucked. I can just say it like that. It's like Call of Duty in general with all the updates and the you know, battle passes and their seasons that they're bringing out. It's like the game's taking two steps forward, but we as the community that's playing the game is taking 10 steps back into a pile of dog shit. That's basically what our machines are telling us when we come into the game and we see how broken and fucked it is, All right? Dynamic resolution, disable this, put this at 10, this one automatic, V-Sync is there to cap your FPS to the refresh rate of your monitor and its main purpose is there 
for screen tearing. All right. So if your screen is 60 hertz, your max FPS you're going to be doing is 60 FPS max. If you do a 120 hertz monitor, it's going to do 120 FPS max when this is on. If you have a 240 hertz monitor and you don't have a powerful enough to machine to run 240 FPS, but it will try and get all there, that's pretty much how this works right here. Screen tearing and cap your FPS, 200 hertz of your monitor or the refresh rate of your monitor. All right, custom frame rate limit, you're going to put this on limited. This at 60, I highly recommend you put this at 60. So you can actually see the modern warfare symbol over here. This at 2.2, disable this, disable this and apply these settings. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to quality. Put this at your own personal preference. It's field of view, it's your own personal preference. Every single person out there have their own personal preference. All right, every single person out there has their own personal preference at this as well. I put mine unaffected because when I aim down sight, I still have an FOV of 120. If I put this on independent, when I aim down sight, ADS, it's going to go back to its default settings, which is 60 like that while aiming down sight. And when I don't aim down sight, it's going to go back to 120. But when I put it at affected, it will do 120 while aiming down sight and not aiming down sight. So I keep it at affected. Put this at least, this at 100 keep it at 100 please just go ahead and leave it at 100 this you're going to put at low this you're going to put at high or at normal your game will still look absolutely fine on normal i'm going to put mine at high and leave it like this this i keep on high this i keep on high as well bullet impacts and spray i enable it tessellation i keep on all this i put on enable so that's the goy effects when a head flies off explodes or whatever the case might be looks cool enable it it doesn't do anything to your frames this on demand text streaming disable it restart shade installation i will get to that just now okay this is where it becomes very very important full mix strength if you have NVIDIA DLSS like me, you're running a NVIDIA card and it has NVIDIA DLSS, all right? So an RTX graphics card. Go ahead and put this from ultra performance to do really good FPS all the way to balanced. You will still do good FPS, but you will also have a really clear looking game. Your game will look beautiful, plus you'll do really good FPS. So NVIDIA DLSS will balance out your quality and your performance all at the same time. This is how I'm playing my Call of Duty right now for Warzone and multiplayer. This is the only thing you need to go ahead and change to make your game look good and also do really good FPS. Now, if you do not have NVIDIA DLSS and you have maybe an AMD card or just in general a low in gaming budget gaming graphics card and you don't have NVIDIA DLSS, I highly recommend go ahead and put this on T2 times and put this all the way down if you do not have NVIDIA DLSS. Right, if you do, put this on balance and this all the way to 1.00. Depth of field. Switch it off, disable it, world motion blur, disable it, weapon motion blur, disable it. All three of these, disable it. It's a multiplayer game. You do not need this unless you go ahead and play campaign. Then you can put everything on ultra. You could put DirectX ray tracing on. You could do whatever you want to on single player. You are not trying to sweat to play while in the game. All right. So you don't need these things. This you're going to put at normal. Cast spot shadows. I disable this. It's my own personal preference. I play around with this every single season okay these two because it's a really big debate on the internet to oh no why do you have this disabled or why do you have it enabled so it's just it's a very big debate okay so go ahead and put this on whatever you want it to be if you have it enabled like this then go ahead and do that if you have it disabled like this then go ahead and do that it's your own personal preference on your specific machine that you're playing right now particle lighting i put mine on ultra because it doesn't do anything with my vram or it has nothing to do with my fps in my game it doesn't drop it it doesn't increase it nothing right DirectX ray tracing you obviously going to disable it it's a multiplayer game this on both screen space reflections SSR I keep mine at high right now for this update that just came out right now and season 5 and the small little update that just came out now put these settings like this if you have I don't know let's say a 20 series graphics cards and higher 
go ahead and put it to these specific settings that I'm showing you right now. Ladies and gentlemen, trust me, it will work perfectly fine while you are playing your game. I do about 170 FPS in multiplayer, almost 200 with this stuff being on balance with the video DLSS on. Now, how you're going to apply these settings is you're going to say apply settings, just like this. You're going to scroll all the way up and you're going to say restart shader installation. When you say restart shader installation, it's going to apply these settings that you just changed now to your Call of Duty. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when you launch your game and it asks you to run your game in safe mode, say no, because if you say yes, it sometimes intends to put your game back to its default settings. So all the settings I just showed you now will not be applied anymore. Then you will be back to square one and sitting with shitty FPS and your game looks like trash and your FPS is really, really low. So always say no when it asks you to run your game in safe mode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here. And as always, peace out.